Welcome to another installment of Five Minute Licks. Today we're going to do two different three note per string octave shapes around the minor hexatonic scale. What am I talking about? This. So before we get into what we're actually going to play, we should talk about what I mean when I say a hexatonic scale. If you know your old Latin prefixes, you would know that hex or hexa normally stands for six. In the same way, pentatonic is five note, hexatonic would be six note. So there's going to be a lot of hexatonic scales, but the one I'm referring to is when we take our good old friend, the minor pentatonic scale in the key of C sharp, uh, around fret nine, if you played the first octave in the classic box pattern, you'd get this. <laughs> C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, and intervallically that's one, minor third, four, five, minor seven octave. All we're gonna do is add the second interval in there, which is a whole tone higher than the root note. So if the root note is C sharp, the second is gonna be D sharp. So one fingering for the first octave could be this. <laughs> You immediately notice three notes on the low string, then two notes on the next string. That's a little bit inconvenient. Let's make it a three note per string pattern. What I'm gonna do though is for this first one, which I find the easiest to finger, if you've tried your kind of classic three note per string major scale shapes, you would have come across this distance of two whole tones on a string. So let's start on the note B which is the minor seventh. And we're gonna play B, C sharp, and D sharp on the low string. So that's minor seven, root, and then second. And then on the A string, we're gonna play E, F sharp, and G sharp. That is the minor third, the fourth, and the fifth. It's fret seven, nine, and 11 on the low two strings. <laughs> Rock and roll, that's an octave shape, meaning if I take that to the next pair of strings and just move the pattern along two frets, I get this. And if I start on fret 12 of the B string, same idea. Awesome, you could immediately apply all your favorite three note per string sequences to this, or you could just use that as a way of visualizing and navigating through this scale. The next pattern that I wanna show you has a bit more of a big stretch in it, but it's going to start on the root note as the lowest note in the string pair. So try to think of this in chunks of two strings. We're gonna have root, second minor third, so fret nine, 11, and 12 on the low string. Then we're gonna have fret nine, 11, and 14 on the next string. The intervals are four, five, and the minor seventh. So the fifth to the minor seventh is the big stretch. So the fingering is this. <laughs> Again, use that same octave shape principle I like to go through and just play the lowest note on each string pair, I call it spotting. So in this case, I'm gonna aim for fret nine on the E string, fret 11 on the D string, and fret 14 on the B. So you could go through and spot them like that with your first finger, and then practice the scale. A good example of a sequence with this might be the classic split sixes alternate picking sequence. It would sound something like this. You could of course repeat that with the first shape I showed you. Pay really close attention to getting that first note on each string. If you're descending, you're probably gonna be spotting with your pinky. If you're ascending, you're gonna be spotting with your first finger there. And if you've been watching this entire series, you should know a, a quite a nice little grab bag of sequences that you could apply to three note per string things. So rather than lay out five different sequences to try, you know the patterns, you know you can move them around 
per octave, I would take one pair of strings and practice a sequence on that and then practice moving it up and down the various octaves. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Backing track will be up on Patreon as well as a whole bunch of other exclusive features. The link is in the video description. Otherwise, stay safe, be good to one another, go and do some practice and enjoy some hexatonic licks. I'll see you next week. Yeah.